Good evening. My name is Kojo. The time is 9.05 p.m. 9.05 p.m. The day is the 1st of June, 2019. That's the date. And the day is Saturday. Saturday is Kwame Da. Kwame and Amma's day. Kwame is the boy, Amma is the girl. The sole characteristics of this day is the ancient wise one. The ancient wise one. Both for the boy and the girl. In iconology, the sex does not determine the strength. It's the connectivity to the soul that determines the strength of the individual. You see today, yeah, me and Eric, we went to the beach. I had a feeling, I don't know, I just had a feeling that I needed to go to the beach. So um, when we had the opportunity, um, I said, yeah, let's go. And what was the opportunity? The opportunity was I needed to buy, um, I needed to buy a Vodafone SIM. So I figured that. Was 10, 10 um, since Vodafone is what going to make at the junction mall, and the junction mall is just what is at the beach. The junction mall is basically at the beach. Yeah. So we might as well drive over to Titanic and just take a few pictures, and then come back. Boom. We got there. We parked the car. We did one or two things. We went around, started taking pictures. Lovely. Listen. I found a spot, yeah, which must be new because, listen, I'm always there and I've never seen this, this thing, yeah, so it must be new. But a few months ago, and I got proof of this, I came up with an idea, yeah, to, to make a global beach down Sakumono Beach, yeah, and get this, the idea I suggested, someone has already started it, but in a very small scale. So I was, it, 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 it felt like a sign that it's, the time is getting there, isn't it? So we had fun taking pictures of this amazing site and taking other pictures. Then afterwards we decided that we're going, but then there was one spot. I wanted um, Eric to capture some spots, but when we got there and captured the spots, we actually ended up catch, um, catching a couple, yeah? Not doing anything bad, but just enjoying life, yeah? And we took some of the most beautiful pictures of them. And Eric was wishing he had their details so he can, you know, let them in. But anyway, we will see. But get this, yeah. As we were about to leave, there's a spot, yeah. And this spot has the loneliest little shop. Little, um, listen, I'm not even going to describe it. I'm just going to show it to you on there, yeah. Um, and, oh my God, it's so beautiful when you capture it in the right light. So we're taking pictures of it. Well, we're taking pictures and I turn around and I look over there and I see a little girl who's selling things on her head. So I tell Eric, capture that little girl, please. Yeah, capture that little girl. But why? She, 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 she's, she's at the beach. A little, a little child is at the beach. But not for the reason you think she should be there for. It's a really sad scene. It just so happens that little kid was serving a witch. Yeah. Some some witch in a car. And the car was, was, was being driven. Listen carefully to this, you know. Was being driven by um by a guy. So they're there at the beach enjoying life and they've stopped this little girl. Yeah, and they're buying um, an orange from her. They're not seeing how wrong it is. They're not seeing it. Yeah, but they're enjoying, so they're buying. So the little girl's on the floor cutting the orange for them. And um, Eric is focusing to capture her. But then it looks like he's capturing the whole scene. Yeah? So she immediately jumps up. Scary looking girl. Like, get this. I don't know what they were doing in the car, yeah? But she come up with a top, like, halfway. And she looked disheveled. Like hands have been, so, you understand what I'm saying? Everything looked wrong. It looked like, it looked like she must be thinking, no, don't. You know what? She was more scared. Not the fact that we were taking pictures, 
but I believe of the situation yeah the possibility that someone may see these pictures or, or it shouldn't be I don't know in it but get this yeah so she starts screaming screaming and I'm like excuse me excuse me oh she she's screaming from the back yeah so she gets closer and she's like don't take pictures of me don't take pictures of me and I'm like excuse me excuse me you you haven't seen what's on the camera so say please don't take pictures of me and if you have delete it but don't be screaming yeah don't just fucking face the camera here don't fuck and this me you know what then fucking move your car because you know what it's a free country right it's a free country and i'm taking a picture of a free country you happen to be in my way it's cause our destinies have crossed it's not my fault if you don't want to be part of my destiny leave she's like oh yeah and she's screaming in english listen carefully to this so she gets close and she's like you're taking a picture of me you have no right to take a picture of me you have no right to take a picture of me you don't take a picture of me i don't want you to take a picture of me and i'm like listen I'm telling you, you haven't seen any pictures in that camera. And since you haven't seen any pictures in that camera, you cannot prove we haven't, we have taken any pictures of you. So I'm saying, we're not taking pictures of you, but we want to take pictures of that direction. So if you don't want to be in our pictures, move. And then she, she turns around to the guy as if to say, ain't you going to do shit about this? So now the guy is like, gone into the car. Yeah, open the car, well, go into the car, open um, the, the <laughs> open the seat, yeah, and then gone in, no, down, and I'm just, Eric is going, what? I've got Eric, let him come, let him come, just, but I'm saying that loud, like, let him come, and then whatever the guy picked up, he blatantly let go of it, he closes the door, and he walks over, but he stands on a ridge, yeah and there's 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 a valley between us so there, there's a little path between us but the path sinks in so i'm stood at the top he stood on the other side of the top and he's like oh bro it's, it's not that but he's looking at eric he's not looking at me because eric is so far stayed calm with the camera in his hands yeah i'm the one talking so he's not looking at me and i'm the one saying let him come yeah so he's not looking at me and he's just he's reasoning with eric and i said brother Listen, we, you're right. We were taking pictures of that direction, but we weren't taking pictures of you or her. Yeah? So she should have just asked and we would have told her. Or we would have said, okay, you know what? Sorry. You understand what I'm saying? But she's shouting. Yeah? And she's being stupid. Yeah? And there's a girl. Ah, where are you stupid? And then this is me, this is me, this is me. Look at you. Look at you, you stupid girl. Go away. And then she goes, oh, oh, because, listen carefully. Listen. Because you can speak English like that, you think you're somebody. And I said, what? Because I can speak English like what? This is how I speak when I speak English. When I speak tree, I speak like I speak when I speak tree. The funny thing is, yeah, this is not the first time I've heard it. They walk up to me. Listen carefully. We are in Ghana. I am in Ghana. I am black. There's nothing about me to say that I'm even Ghanaian or that I'm even Ugandan or anything. There's nothing about me to describe my, my color. Yeah. Um, in terms of um, where I might be from. But logically, we are in Ghana, so it will it will be it will be sensible, yeah. If you are going to attack someone, to at least yeah attack that person, yeah, in um in um what do you call it in Chi or in Ga or in Ewe. But she she came up to me saying, "Who the hell, who are you taking pictures of? Who are you taking pictures of?" Listen, she was proud of herself that moment because she was speaking English what she had wished yeah was that when she came at me with English I would have gone Joe I know they take pictures of you yeah I did do my tino yeah and then she would have felt higher than me why because her English was superior than mine but 
but all her hopes were squashed when she started hearing words that she listen that she has heard but when formulated in a sentence she can't make sense of the sentence so her only reaction was to turn to what 99.9 .9 of Ghanaians who haven't traveled abroad or even who have but never 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 cordulated enough and never um you know um immersed themselves enough yeah to to be able to pick up yeah and soak into them yeah what it is that they're trying to learn because they haven't got the brains to do so yeah and i realize you seeing gone here listen there is no gone in in Ghana here that doesn't want to travel abroad one or two i'll be honest some people don't need to yeah not even for holiday we've got son here who needs a cold you understand what i'm saying but get this 99.9% .9 of the people who are struggling in Ghana want to go abroad and when, when they go abroad yeah listen to them especially the Americans you can tell they're forcing the accent because listen they haven't immersed themselves into the culture they they haven't immersed themselves with the people of the culture they will go and stay with Ghanaians yeah and, and and then and then they they will go yo 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 and then they will get the really local colloquial crap yeah and then you hear them on YouTube you can blatantly tell he's a freshie when people know you you see what I mean but get this all of them want to travel and when they all travel they want to come back and they want people to know that they have traveled and one of the ways is that they will speak english even listen even if their english sounds ghanaian you can tell by certain mannerisms about them you understand what i'm saying but when they do meet someone that has gone yeah like do you, do you know do you know how many ghanaians have told me you need to stop speaking the, um, the, the way you speak english evil people why they want me to dampen down my understanding of something that they are struggling to learn why Ghana yeah this is the re listen this, this, this is the reason why Ghana is behind they want me yeah, instead of me I'm forward I'm forward they want me to go behind them with them why they go to school they've been taught every single lesson in English not tree not Ghana not Ewe so they're trying to learn English to understand their school. Even in Ghana here, people people pretend they have English accents. So what more? Someone who has lived there all his life. This is why Ghanaians don't progress. Jealousy, envy. She accused me yeah, of winning the argument because of my accent that I think I'm somebody and I didn't say anything like that I didn't assume that I've never looked down on anyone this is why Ghana's this is why Ghana yeah and Ghanaians are suffering listen listen and, and the funny thing is, this is something she did. It's sad. I'm trying to tell my people's story. Listen all. I'm trying to tell my people's story. I'm trying to show my people off. I'm trying to I'm trying to get the world to understand my people. But you see, when I train my camera, my people. So it wasn't something common. You should see them. But you see. When a tourist is passing by, as long as this tourist, you see, even if you're a black tourist, yeah, and, 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 and you come here and you are dressed really normal, like you, you could almost be called a local when you train the camera at them. As if, as if black people are not allowed to enjoy the beauty of black people. Only white people are allowed to enjoy the beauty of white people. I'm sorry, of black people. You lift the camera and they, they all dodging away. I see a white person here yeah, and they lift the camera. Oh, they'll even come and hug her and one of the. You understand what I'm saying? What bullshit is What monkey behavior is this? What monkish behavior is this? When she came in.
Stupid witch. You should have seen her hair everywhere. Listen, this is the silliest thing. Let me tell you something here. So she comes over and she starts arguing. I'm telling her, bitch, go away, man. And Eric is getting mad. Yeah. Listen, I, I've told him, I've warned him. I said, listen, next time, whatever happens, shut up. Because get this, he, his, his, um, what you call it, his anger just boils over like boom. He, he doesn't have control. It serves as a lesson. Yeah. He doesn't have control. Doing good, yeah, can, can hurt you. Earlier on, yeah, some guy kept tailing him. He had the camera in his hand and the guy kept tailing him. Yeah, and I've noticed that he's taking the camera and he's literally stood there like, and the guy's walked away because he stood there literally like, okay, enough now, come then. <laughs> yeah, so he's getting mad, I'm telling him, calm down, the girl comes over and I'm like, listen, so I've calmed down, this is me, listen, listen. I don't want to insult you and I don't want to get you angry and I know you're angry but you're making me angry too but what I'm saying is yeah I know what you're saying we pointed the camera that way but we're actually not taking a picture of you you were not the subject of the picture so if you had asked we would have shown it to you and funny enough yeah Eric at that time hadn't taken a picture of her because he was concentrating on the little girl because he understands why I, to, I asked him to take her. Specific, I never said take them. Eric has understood that I'm very specific. If I say, oh, take that scene, take that scene. But sometimes I turn around and say, take that out of that scene. And now he's understood. He needs to concentrate on that. So he'd actually zoomed in when she started. So when he ended up taking a picture, he'd looked away, yeah? And he ended up actually taking a picture of her then coming at us. So we didn't get a picture of the girl. Well, we got a picture of the girl, but we couldn't focus in on the girl. So get this. I've told her, yeah, this means, so you're coming, you're coming and you're shouting. It's just a matter of asking. And then there's a, yeah, but you're taking this, me, you're doing it again. We're not taking a picture of you. Listen, maybe you and your boyfriend don't want pictures of you. He's not my boyfriend, he's my cousin, and I just froze. He went pressing, 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 and I told him, oh, don't press that. Cause get this. I'm telling you, she come out of the car, hair mad. Yeah, like top rolled up to the top, like. I wasn't angry. You know what I'm saying? Now I thought, oh. Because you don't know where the picture may end up. I wasn't angry one bit. And she's like, Josh, I ain't going to say anything about this. And I'm like, Josh, listen, bruv, we didn't take a picture of you guys, yeah? So, I don't know why she's been so a bitch, time. but. And time, as you know. Take care of yourself, bro. And he went, money. yeah, shook my hand, and my he walked off. My time is not worth money. My time is so precious. I use my With his time cousin. to make people feel happy. His crazy cousin. I'm trying to use my time. He needs to, to be careful. Yeah, but get yeah, this. Is he going in? But I don't want, I don't want. Listen. I'm chucking out good feelings here. Listen, there are human yeah, beings on this planet yeah, who I tell think. the truth. I hours on my thing. Let me, let me, and let me read a quote from one thing. such human for you. Everything I do, yeah, heart one such human. Yeah, my dad sent it to me today. Yeah. If I show you love, show me the same care back. President Putin on Africans. Listen, it doesn't say President Putin on Africa. Why? On the no. land, no. It says President Putin on Africans. That refers to the human beings. Separate from the land. This refers to the human beings who inhabit the land of Africa. So President Putin on the human idiots that inhabit the land, the precious land of Africa. Listen, Africa yeah. will never be I independent. Have done, yeah? this is what I have done. Africans believe in Europeans, Americans, and Chinese more than themselves. Yeah. So when you came here, when they you don't came trust here, the themselves at all. A white man will commit crime in Africa, but no action will be taken because Africa authorities view us. So this he he points at himself, us being white as semi gods. This is a man that's telling you, I'm strong. And and somehow 
I know my role. Don't view me as a God. Whatever I can do, you can do. I am not a God. And you need to stop viewing me as a semi-God and all other people who look like me. But get this. Let me go back and finish off the sentence properly. He says, Africa, but no action will be taken because Africa authorities view us as semi-gods. But watch what he says. Far from the truth. Meaning, us viewing them as semi-gods is far from the truth. Meaning, rhetorically, he's saying, closer to the truth is actually what? You. Why? Africans are running to join the Masonic clubs, but the Masons are using Egyptology stuff. Yeah? So, hold on. Listen all. You created it. They took it away. And now you became the servant of something that belongs to you. You see what he means by far from the truth? Basically, those who created what it is that was created, yeah, have become the servants of those that used to serve what it is that the creators created. So the creators became the servants and the servants became the masters. That's closer to the truth. Because the evidence lives. A black man can be adopted in Europe. Get harassed. Or even killed. But no African authority will question. Africans present themselves as weak people with no hope especially when dealing with Europeans and Americans they are their own enemies they hate each other and that gives their colonial masters power to continue exploiting African resources Bullshit about his God's doing. Let me tell you something, yeah. God put life on the face of this planet, yeah. For life, yeah, to grow. Let me tell you yeah, something, yeah. To grow. Africans grow. don't know who they are. Let me tell you, you see trees, you see trees, yeah. Africans don't they know who they are. And keep growing and keep growing. Ghanaians don't know who they are. Getting bigger and bigger and bigger. You I'm telling why? you, yeah. Because they eat exactly what I have a message for Ghana. President Putin, yeah, has helped me. And I am telling you, listen to me very carefully, Ghana, yeah. That is the devil's doing. That is you. The first thing you need to stop is jealousy and envy. That's it. Second thing, yeah. Now, the second thing is the most important, yeah. Not God's doing. You see the message that I have, yeah, the knowledge that I I have, that Nanenyami gave me, that I explained every single step to you, yeah, for you to then say to the world, because get this, President Putin says that you see them as semi-gods, why? Because why? They, the white Jesus, yeah, yeah, white Jesus. White this, um, white that. The, the Prophet Muhammad is said to have been so white, Australia, even though, Russia, because Arabs are white, even though, get this, there is no Australia. picture to prove so this, but Australia. even though historical really facts is, say that he was black. So but anyway, put it in that aside, and then there's today, Jesus that says he's, he's black. But get this, so now, yeah? And then and then they say the Buddha is white, Jesus is white, the Buddha is white, everyone is white. No, only Kwekwanans is black. No one's Only Kweku Anansi has managed to stay black. People. That's why um, disabled people. You understand what I'm saying? But then, but then President Putin knows the truth, and he knows, yeah, that all these people, yeah, are black. 
That's why he says that you seeing the white man as a semi-god is far from the truth because there are opposite sides to the story and the one that's closer to the story is the other side, the one you don't know about. But get this, you should know about it because get this, um, where, 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 is, the, where is the monolithic, um, what do you call it, um, um, buildings yeah, that, that the gods of Rome built? There's none. But there is, there are monolithic buildings that the so-called gods of Egypt built, and they're still there. You see what I mean? What Amon Ra built is still there, but Zeus never actually built anything. Zeus is said to be the god of Ra Ra Ra, but Amon Ra actually was a man who lived. He's not a god. Trust me, I'll explain that to you later. Yeah, but I'm trying to say. These all things the are did. all the what, if, to, to, for your information, yeah, if you check your historical facts, Amon Ra, yeah, is Zeus. Zeus is Amon Ra. Amon Ra, I'm not going to make this analogy for you, yeah, is the master of the compass set, the Masonic templates, yeah? But get this, you see Jesus Christ. For 30 years, you don't really know much about him, do you? Yeah, other than when he was born as a baby and uh, when he was 12 years old, one, two, the number 12, yeah, and then he was 30, and then we know everything from 30 to 33 when he died, right? But get this, we do know that Jesus, yeah, had the dad, not a biological dad, as his soul said, yeah, but get this, he had a dad called Joseph. Whether you believe in the book or not, don't worry, just let's go by the fact of the book that's written, yeah. A dad called Joseph. But the book also says that Joseph, you see Joseph, that he, he was a carpenter. Yeah? You cannot be a builder without knowing the math set, the compass set. Rulers, you cannot be even a ruler without knowing what the ruler is for. Rulers rule by rule. Everything you need to build life is within the compass set. So what they don't tell you about Jesus Christ is that he, he knew all the practices of Masonic um, ideals. Why? Not because he practiced it, but because knowing the compass set, yeah, knowing the compass set and what the true value of a compass set is, was part of the Masonic religion. But get this, even though Jesus Christ was not part of it, he was a carpenter. So he knew the value of a compass set so you could say that for 30 years from when Jesus was small he was being tutored by a master compass user sorry um math set user so a master mason Joseph so 30 years Jesus trained using masonic tools to become a builder but get this Amon Ra built monuments, physical monuments. Jesus Christ built the human, physical monument, but the human. He didn't build structures, but get this, for 30 years, we don't know what Jesus Christ was building. Let me give you a clue. Let me give you a clue about the Bible, yeah? You see Joseph Smith. Yeah, Joseph Smith. Okay. Why did Joseph Smith feel that he, he, Joseph Smith, can write a book and call the book a testament to the story of Jesus Christ? Why did he feel like that? Yeah, I'll tell you. And this is going to be your first clue, yeah, as to who, who's who. Because you, if you don't know who you are, then you will always be lost, like President Putin says. Let's get you closer to the truth. You see Joseph Smith, yeah? He, he, yeah, was born, yeah, on the 23rd of December, 18-something, yeah? But get this, that day, that day, yeah, was two days before Christmas. It means Christmas that year landed on a Wednesday but Joseph Smith was born on the Monday yeah listen Joseph Smith was born on the Monday yeah that makes Joseph Smith a mon born 
listen a mon born a monday born the word day day it appears seven times in seven days it's not unique the word mon is the unique one joseph smith discovered the secret of the masons and the secret turned out to be this Amon Ra is the god they worship but then Joseph Smith realized yeah along with the top masons that Amon Ra was a man who lived but get this when he died yeah he went into the soul world and lived as the soul and he said that was him going back as a god but that yeah they called him after the day the soul of the day so i told you kwame and amma today yeah amon ra is kojo yeah for the boy in tree acknology yeah hebrew t993 acknology you if you're born on a monday and your boy kojo girl adowa yeah so watch this when he realized that he realized that hold on a mon only refers to the soul that's born on a monday so if you're born on a monday then get this you have the same soul that lives in Amon Ra in you because you are Amon too listen carefully all because you are Amon too so therefore get this he figured out that if you figure this out then you can say that you are the reincarnation of Amon Ra because technically you are there are only seven souls on the face of this planet the mo- the, sorry the Sunday soul Monday soul Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday and the Saturday soul they divide they divide into two either male or female if it's a male you get one name Kojo if it's female you get one name Adowa but it's the same soul so technically you see everyone you see in front of you yeah there are only seven of us there are only seven of us and if we were to be competing yeah we should be competing in seven teams mondays against everyone tuesdays against everyone we will conquer bullying in two seconds you will never watch a soul kind get bullied and you will realize that there's always enough soul kinds around you to shout for help trust me there are only seven of us if there's more than a hundred of us in one place unless it was specially organized for only mondays to be there which would be a regular occurrence our moms we need to check ourselves because we keep doing it yeah so get this you see Amon Ra yeah okay he 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 his name yeah in hieroglyphics is as follows he he divided everything up set this whole thing compass system up and then when he died he claims that because he was the first then he's god so everything you see egyptology was built by him in terms of his ideology so it put him at the top of it or he put himself at the top of it as a god and he claimed that when he dies or when he died he was going to ascend and sit at the right hand side of the table jesus christ says that he is going to sit at the right hand side of the father but Amon ra says that he is going to sit at the right hand side of the table what table so his name yeah is a hieroglyphic with five little pictograms first pictogram is a feather because he's saying he is now god and he sat yeah before the four elements to represent wind and the power of wind and wind energy he puts a feather because at the time only birds could fly and even now only birds can fly because human beings flying is not actually that safe yeah so he saying yeah i own the power of air he put that there yeah remember we're spelling his name in hieroglyphics and then underneath that he put zigzags and a block to represent the, the wave energy water wave energy because 
80% of life is water. So if you don't have power over water, then you're not God. So he has that too, he says. Boom. Above that, he put a battery cell with seven peaks. Because get this, there are seven days in a week and there are seven souls in a week and each soul deserves to be under the sun, yeah, seven days a week. So each peak represents each day. Yeah, and it's a message to tell us that he is he the God is going to give us sun seven days round the clock. Yeah, so he put that there. Yeah, 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 I got that. Yeah, boom, 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 boom. And then this, um the fourth one, yeah, he put a round circle and a smaller round circle within it. It's Earth's outer layer and the inner core of Earth. Done. Yeah, and he because earth is 20% of what life is to the human. So now that he has all these four elements, which is how he, he devised the pyramid in the first place, there are four sides to the pyramid. Yeah, one of those elements is each side, that's why he's got four of them in front of him. Yeah, so he knows that to for me to be talking to you right now, it means I have life in me. But what does it take for me to have that life? I'm 20% earth, 80% water. I'm breathing air, otherwise I won't be talking to you. So in Frama, air is filling me and surrounding me. And I've been under the sun, so that sun is still in me now burning away. Photosynthesis. He knew that when these four things come together to a tip, you've got life. Yeah? That's how the creator created it. So when he discovered what the creator wanted us to know anyway, yeah, because he hasn't hidden it from us, you yeah, that's not what I'm saying. Boy. He decided he's God. And he made a few so rich. And created a system of how you put your family in a hierarchical system. So you, you see in England, the, the Lord system, yeah? It, it is, it's based on, on the system that Amora created, which is how you create certain families that have certain roles that are almost bloodline roles only. So it's like a kingdom. You're creating many kingdoms within a kingdom. So they have their own estate. And because of that estate, yeah, they have the power to even cancel the people's so votes. So strategically that, placed that, people. Um, my friend has come so the people um, never truly get their way. Um, These people are paid yeah, for sleeping. Uh, yeah. They they give from, birth to their know, kids knowing that their kids are sorted. At the same time, yeah, because why? From the days of our Monra, it was set for them. So get this. Hierarchical Where system. That's why so that's why the Masons, yeah, well, kept it. Why? It works. You see what I mean? So get this. Um, Joseph Smith, yeah, found out he was born on a Monday. He is a mon, yeah. <laughs> and then he said, yeah, that get this. He wrote a book called a Book of Mormon, yeah, more mon Monday mon M O N, yeah. <laughs> The book of more Mondays. Listen all. But then he called it a testament to Jesus Christ. Is Joseph Smith telling you that Jesus Christ is Amon Ra? Did Amon Ra, listen all, did Amon Ra see the light and realize that building the human was better than building monuments and statues in your honor and he changed and then he went around started preaching the word and then they killed him is that what happened because we only know three years of Jesus' life he could have spent 30 years building great monuments and creating things but putting that aside for a minute but he thinks that he was God Joseph Smith but watch this is he on his own no he's not David Koresh David Koresh Waco Texas why do you think David Koresh also believed he was God David Koresh also found out the secret of the uh, Masons and the Illuminati. What is the secret? It's simple. Amon Ra is the highest deity and is the God they're worshipping, is the God that's been disguised as Jesus. 
That's why those who worship Jesus are always in the church crying. But those who worship Amon Ra keep flashing money. Do you know why? Because he says, for the lack of knowledge, my people perish. They know something you don't know. So when we, when we, they know something you don't know, and that is what you're lacking. So watch this. David Koresh also found out that it is a Monday so they're worshiping. Therefore, what? Therefore, he said that he is a Monday born. Therefore, they should worship him. They said no, he formed his own crew. And because of the secrets he was revealing about the Masonic, because listen, they, David Koresh, sorry, um, whatever his name is, yeah, he was really teaching his people some radical shit. Why? Because he was teaching them the truth. He really was teaching them the truth. But if people did clock on, it would have been problematic and he knew. Because he knew they sent him into paranoia yeah, you came to they me. actually sent him into paranoia and I'm going to try my best yeah, Joseph Smith was murdered yeah shot dead the problem is yeah, you, can, you can mess it up David Koresh so was attacked and killed that you're not ready for that commitment, and all his crew who had learnt what he knew see, were also I'm slaughtered I'm including the kids before, before I'm not saying he was a good guy or a bad guy. I'm not saying that. I'm yeah, just telling you the history yeah, of a month of Monday. But get this, it's fun. Do you know why? Because why? I'm not going. Because get this. How how do I know these things? How do I know these things? You see in the Bible. You see the sentence. For the lack of knowledge, my people perish. She's doing her thing. And I'm, I'm positioning myself. Look, look, look in the world system now. Yeah. Who's perishing? All the European countries are alright. Even when they're going through problems, they're alright. Their people are still okay. Their roads are done. Their schools are still operating. Their schools have computers. Their, their lights don't go off every minute. Yeah. Look at America's. Same. Even Jamaica. The Marys, they're alright. Bahamas, they're alright. Oh, and her brother. The mainland Africa. Everywhere there's problems. So me, the little kid, her brother. Everywhere in Africa there's problems. And when you look deep into the problem, as President Putin would support me in saying, England is in there. America's in there. Germany's in there. So she can have They're all in there. Without anyone on some of them are in there because they don't want to be left out some of them don't have, listen there are countries that, let me tell you something about why china is so aggressively yeah taking over africa with no mercy let me tell you something do you know the last time the english went to china what the english did to china yeah they took heroin and they tried to kill China and take over. They, there's actually historical fact that this was in the blueprint. They actually they actually used the compass set to mark out China. Yeah? See? I told you. If you don't know the value of the Masonic tools, yeah? You can never be a ruler. Yeah? They used the compass set to mark out China. Yeah? And then they went in. First they went in peacefully and then they went to Afghanistan and, and brought poppy, yeah, heroin over, started feeding it to the Chinese slowly. So they were going to turn them alcoholics and drunkards and to break down the culture. So first they needed to break down the culture because the culture made Chinese people really strong in numbers because they will come when the culture called. So they needed to break down the understanding by making them drunk. They took in her and the king eventually realized, yo, this is a war. <laughs> he realized that it was, a, it was a war, but it was being fought with a new weapon, drugs. Africans only think it's a war when their knives and guns pull. No, weapons come in all shapes and sizes and all forms. Yeah. 
So get this. He went to all, he got his soldiers and they gave them one order. Everywhere where you know this thing is being sold, everywhere where you know this thing is being kept, the order is, is, listen, is legal, isn't it? We, listen, they drowned everything in the sea and apparently, yeah, you see the sea. Listen, they came to kill them, innit? And I'm telling you, China, yeah, suffered because they had to make concessions because after they did that, the English then came in with cannons and just just stayed about 10 miles offshore and started blasting them. Why? Because they, they wouldn't let they wouldn't let the English sell them, the Masons, sell, sell their people drugs that killed them. Imagine that. Eventually concessions were made and you know, boom, 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 the Chinese slowly, you know, weaned their people off that shit and took shit back. Yeah. But the Chinese suffered for that. And how did the Chinese suffer for that? Because for years, yeah, China should have been developed way back. Because listen, Chinese have always known the value of working together. And when you know how to work together, you just keep building. In Kran, we call it in tree. Ants, oh, um, termites, yeah, sorry. They build termite mounds together. But listen, the secret to the success of the Masons was simple. They had, they had access to King Solomon's mines. They had access to Africa. The Chinese never had a stake in Africa. The Chinese re eventually realized that their downfall is that they don't have a stake in King Solomon's mines. And King Solomon no longer has control of his mines. Therefore, the thief is empowering himself with King Solomon's goods. And then that, that is forcing, is making the thief strong to keep her China down. So China went silent for 50 years, ignored everyone, ignored human rights, ignored this, ignored that, because he realized that they use the human rights system to chokehold you. They say, we will let you into our exclusive club if you follow this book. But you see this book, they don't follow it. Africans are killed in, 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 in Theresa May's G4S, um, what do you call it? I'm telling you, they're killed, they're suffocated, they're killed in there every day. And, and no, listen, some of them even write to their governments and African governments, they don't give a fuck. There is no, there is no even, there's no even um, a line of communication for Africans who find themselves in another country stuck for help. There's no, listen, you will phone and you find someone that will say, um, what do you call it? Hello? I found a guy in an um, embassy the other day. Why? Because get this. <laughs> I'm telling you. So if you're in problem somewhere and you phone, this is what you're going to get. I phoned a guy in an embassy that I recorded it. Yeah. I said, um, hello, um, I'm looking to speak to someone in the education department. Because on the internet, it says they've got an education department. And she said, why? Listen to her. Why? And I said, oh, because um, it's to do with a book that I've written. And I believe the book is to do, um, is to help Ghana. Is a, is a book called Ghana. And I strongly believe that um, it needs to be, you know, looked at by someone in government. So that's why I'm calling the governmental head of the education department. And she just went, well, if you're reading a book, just go and look for someone to publish it. And this is me, did you hear what I told you? I said it's to do with Ghana, so I want Ghana, yeah, to see it. Oh, excuse me, sir, this is not the right place, and she put her phone down. And I said, fuck, you know, man. Imagine if I was in trouble and I was calling for help. You feel me? Bullshit. I'm looking at myself, and I'm thinking, bullshit. Nah, this ain't working. It ain't working, so... Don't worry, I'm not gonna force her. But that's it. And I didn't call her the next day. Oh, shit. And that was it. Until. Um, Bullshit. Week, it's been about almost um, three weeks since I didn't call her. If you don't know who you are. A week ago. Yeah. If you don't know who you are. Me he's working yeah. That area. You will always he's find yourself him. looking for yourself in another. And that's the problem that most Africans are stuck with. And I'm telling you, yeah, I am telling you, I'm speaking the language of Aaron, Aaron's tongue. 
Yeah, the uh, food. Yeah, a three by four system that is spoken of in in the Bible. Meaning, if you create a device that has a three by four key, you didn't create it. Why? Because the template already exists. You've just put something onto a template that already exists. And what does the Bible say the food is? It's a device for communication. Let me tell you something, yeah? I have a message for Ghana. President Putin will support me. I'm telling you, yeah? I'm going to tell you who you are. He left that same day. I'm going to so, open a Bluetooth so, booth. Um, it's free. Yeah, so it's funny. Uh, Mohammed, yeah. Mohammed, you just come. You plug in your phone. You look at the titles. Sometimes we've got this reviewers and they've reviewed some. Yeah. yeah. And they've because put they um, their idea. little reviews there. Go and just go and just give you review this and you download which one you want to listen to for now. You go and listen to it. Delete it if problem, you want, yeah. or store it's it on your computer, and, and come and download some more for free. free Why am I doing it this way? No, I realize no, because you see, no, when God lives no, in you, yeah, yeah thing. you think about no, humanity. No, like, Why? And then he, I know my message is good. I know my message is strong. I know my message will save you. I know my message is Anansi's message. Anansi never sold knowledge. Anansi never sold knowledge. When we went, only. The Masons sell knowledge, and Nancy always smashes the knowledge, yeah. and his so people we went, and the we world can have there. it. So, we've been so there's Bluetooth booth. Yeah. It's to stop you from using your data to watch it on YouTube. Yeah. We've been filming and playing it's to stop you from using your data, yeah, yeah. yeah. To, to, to download it. The the it's to give you an alternative. But I will still make them available with videos on YouTube and other platforms. But I'm giving you another option. If you want CDs, this Bluetooth boost will, can copy, can make you a copy, a CD copy. Listen, we will, we will get, we will get the CDs, yeah. And all you do, we will tell you how much the CD costs. In terms of listen, we won't ask for. I'm not listen. I'm not. I'm not looking to make a penny off you. Innit? So this is what I'm doing. I'll take the receipt of each bundle of um CDs and I'll calculate to to the price of each CD. So it might turn out that each CD, because that's my book CDs was what fifty CDs for fifty of them. So it worked out to be like a like a city, a CD, yeah. So a city, yeah. And we'll stick it in. We'll print it for you. Yeah, if you want to leave a little coin behind because of electricity and whatever, that's fine. If you don't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't, trust me, it really doesn't matter. Maybe the message, yeah, will help you gain some, yeah, to come and give us another day. So don't be shy. Come, come and listen. You just need to hear. And if you hear and if, if it's not true, then you ignore. But I'm telling you, yeah. President Putin wants to save you and I'm telling you yeah I know how to save you and how to save you yeah it's simple you need to know who you are again and that goes for the whole of Africa I told someone that listen whenever Ghana starts it the rest follow maybe that is it I'm uploading something online right now. What at twelve o'clock I will be. Well Eric will be. He's got my he's got my device, he's going to do it. We'll see. That's my friend Daniel. <laughs> I love you. I'm telling you. That witch. So what's this now? Ninety nine percent of Ghanaians. Yeah, it's would would want to speak like today, me um, when they speak English. You too much about it because today I made a piece. But yeah, when you when you speak, kind of when it's not them and it's you, listen carefully to this. Yeah. They they make sn they, they make sniggers about you like I'll be walking yeah, here and, and I know they do it. Yeah, or I go to a shop. Imagine one time I go I went to a shop to buy something. I asked the girl in English about something and she repeated what I asked in an accent. You know what? Laughing. 
and they were all laughing but and and then she asked me then i mean yeah, i mean what should i do for you in tree meaning even though she heard what i said and she repeated it to me listen carefully even though she heard what i said and she repeated it to me yeah she then asked me in tree as if to say speak to you when you come out drove off because i was in my car i just drove off fuck off the other day i'm driving by here yeah, and get this some big lorry here yeah, because her shop was right at the corner yeah some big lorry had listen i don't know if she was in there but there's not been any murder cases around the place stupid girl it had taken her shop out completely if she was in there yeah her english would have definitely not saved her but a lack of knowledge my people perish in it stupid because why listen listen if he who is meant to yeah find his destiny yeah in in nanenyame in god yeah finds his destiny then it's going to be an automatic reaction that he's going to need kids around him or her because those are the only people he or she can trust because get this if a kid breaks my million pound tv i'm telling you i'll just smile if a kid breaks my leg i'll just smile only kids can stop that person from sinning because if an adult does it yeah i'll find justification to slap them for it because i'm thinking you 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 you, you, you. that was selfish so the, the, they knew the the, the 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 devil and his crew they knew they knew Listen, they knew that, yeah, this person is going to find comfort, yeah, and, and protection in kids. That, therefore, yeah, we can't get him or her. We can't destroy him or her. So, you know what? We're going to make sure, yeah, that parents cannot trust, yeah, anyone with their kids. And him, yeah, it will disturb him. Of course it will disturb me. Because I'm going to show you. The, the Bible says the mark of children the beast the is 600. Children are the only ones I can three scores I can and a six. Whoa. 600 children is 600. Like three kids. scores is three so, times so 20. Because a, um, 20, a 20 pound note is a score. So three times 20 yeah. is 60. <laughs> and then six. So I'm get this. Yeah. Six yeah, zero zero six of zero yeah, six. Of you being set up. Listen yeah, carefully. The mark of the beast yeah. is six zero zero six zero six. Six hundred three scores yeah. equals sixty. So he six zero and child, yeah. six. Sorry, if he wasn't God's child, but get this. You see it. zero. It's not a number we count. Yourself, yeah. Why? Because Why? look Why on your look on your war clock. Yeah, time starts at one, not zero. Meaning zero is not part of time. Because Otherwise, it would have been part of the first nine numbers. But it comes as a different number, never heard of, in the tenth. Meaning it was meant to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one. And then they added a zero so, you can, so they can do one, 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 two, one, three, one, four. Elongation. Elongation. Two police, yeah. Three policemen died. So That's zero is not a number you count. So, so if you cancel know. all the zeros, yeah, and I refuse to allow myself as you normally do pool, in addition, yeah, sorry, in in, in um what do you call it in um algebra, cancel that, cancel that. If you cancel the zeros, which we don't have access to, what are you left with? Six, six, six. If you look on your 3 by 4 phonetic key, yeah, you're going to notice that M yeah, is on 6, N is on 6, O is on 6. So, Monday, M-O-N day, Mon day is 6, 6, 6. The Bible says that the beast has a mark and the mark is the mark of a man meaning the beast is a man but then if the beast is a man it means the man has to be born but then if he is born on a man it means he was a monday born 
And let me prove it to you. You see, Hebrew Acknology T993 people say the day, the day, the weekday starts on Sunday. So our weekday starts on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yeah? So the final day is Saturday, the day he sat. But in the Western world, they say that the week starts on Monday. Why? Because get this. If you claim that you are God, then you have to come before the first. Yeah? So get this. Hebrew acknology says the first soul to arrive was the Sunday soul. So Sunday is first. But when the Masons took the belief of the um of the um so Hebrew accounts, yeah, don't believe in Ra. They don't believe in an Amun. So they kept their weekdays from Saturday, Sunday to Saturday. That's how they did their seven days. Put in is this a vision? Aquisi and Akosuya at the beginning. But is it yeah? a, a warning but or a vision? The Masons say their God is the Monday soul. So if so your God what, 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 um, yeah, is one, the Monday soul um, and he came one, after Akwesi and, and Akosuya, he can't be a God. So they took Akwesi and Akosuya and took them right to the back. They demoted the first two right to the back and then they made their weekdays Monday to Sunday. So the first became the last and the second became the first. Amon became first because he claimed to be God. So they put him first to say he is on top. Amon. But then get this. This system, the, the system that they're using, listen carefully. Because they're using the system of the Egyptians, the Egyptians, the Egyptians themselves, their day starts on Sunday. Yeah. So that's what they expected. But get this. Just like iconology people, people of the Akans, our day starts on Sunday. You see what I mean? But the West, the Masons, they put Amon as God because Amon said he's God. So only a few put Amon first. And now you got Africans running. Listen, um, our ex president, Kufour, you, this is why the Chinese are angry. We were empowering the Masons against them. If they say money is power and, and, and the Masons are taking all the money, then and, and then they're using that money to fund wars and create problems, yeah? Then what do you want them to do? They dipped in too. They come to the... Listen, we, listen. the English come and take it for free. Don't fix up Ghana. Don't fix up Africa. They kept, they've taken it for 400 years. Look at the state Africa's in. And all of a sudden, the Chinese come in, yeah? And we want them to come and fix the mess. So we want them to come and work for their money. Whilst we don't allow the British to work for their money. Are you stupid? You, you, you respect them to be stupid. So, so the English come in and the Ashanti, the Ashanti king gives them free gold. But when the Chinese come in, yeah, you want the Chinese to come and do your roles and do it like they do it in their country. So you want them to come and actually put some hard work in. When they know that their counterparts, yeah, don't have to sweat one bit to get money out of you. Are you stupid? The Chinese only respect those who respect themselves. Watch how the Chinese respect me. I'm going to buy ice cream. I'm telling you. Watch. They will respect me. Watch how Russians respect me. They'll respect me. No one's giving them anything. Why? And already I'm sweating. Because it's starting to look like, yeah. I'm alone in Ghana. It's starting to look like, yeah, all lambs lead to one door, but I have turned my back. It's starting to look like I'm the last man standing in Ghana here. It's starting to look really sad. It's starting to look really sad. Ah, cool. Going, 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 going. Afterwards, yeah. Oh, and then I buy a second round of ice creams again because, again, I was boiling. Boom. We finished the shoot. These kids have been dancing all day. We get back to the house and I hear a little commotion going on because the kids were promised, yeah, food and 20 cities each. So they were going to eat and get 20 cities each to take home. So watch this. Now there's an argument about something, something. And um, one, 
there's no money to get them food. And two, there's no money to give them that 20 CD CD. But get this, the person who needed the dancers has fully paid. So I can hear this argument going on. I can see the kids in the background, yeah? Some of them, yeah, they, 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 they crouched in the corner, yeah, from exhaustion, from under the sun, dancing all day under the sun to the same song. You understand what I'm saying? And um, the adults are there click-clacking about, oh, but, but yeah, you need to add another 100 CDs. I know we know we said 200, but it wasn't enough. What do you mean it wasn't enough? The kids haven't even, like, if you had given at least 15 CDs to all of them and one of them hadn't got some, I understand. They hadn't received a penny. So how do we even know it wasn't enough? You see what I mean? So I'm stood there with my last bit of change, yeah, from that 100 cities, yeah, it's about 70 cities left, yeah, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm telling Mohammed, listen, if you want me to drop you home, let me drop you home now, because I don't want to go to Labadi late, so I want to go to Labadi, innit, because this time now, there's still enough money there to go to Labadi, you get me, you feel me, and I'm, I'm, but you know what, I'm looking at the kids, I'm looking at the kids, and I said, no way, no way. If I if if I go to Labadi, I'll choke. I knew it. I'll choke. So it didn't hurt me to change my mind. It hurt me that I was rolling with these people. Yeah. I said, let's go to the shop and get them some food. Yeah. They said, oh, give us the money. I said, no. Let's go to the shop and get them some food. I'm not giving no one no money. So we walked all the way to the Kinke place. Yeah. And I spent sixty-seven pounds. Oh, sorry. Um, cities on food. Made sure that each kid had a large fish and at least one and a half, um, um, a, a whole, a whole kenke and a half, enough pepper to go. I came, I gave it to them, I told them take to the kitchen and get it ready and eat it. You see, a few weeks later, when I, um, when I was looking for Philomena, aha! Uh -huh. So two weeks after this day, yeah, I went looking for Philomena. I meet one of the kids. His name is Joseph. He then takes me to Philomena's house. But on our way, I asked the kid, yeah, that um, um, did everyone enjoy the food? He said, yeah, but they, there wasn't enough and they were really hungry. And this means, what, one and a half isn't enough? He said, no, between the nine of them, yeah, they got four, four kenkes between the nine of them and, and one and a half fish, the adults, stole that one too. See, I'm saying, Papa, you're not Oh, yeah.